Good morning, guys. We just got out of the tent and there's like a whole herd of vicuna right in front of us. They're so cute. I think they're quite interested in us as well because they're always putting their head, heads up and then looking at us. Every time we make a noise, they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, what are they doing? And then you've got a herd of alpaca as well in the field just over here. But those I think are farmed. Whereas those, I think, are wild. Beautiful. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 303 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the Jojoy province in the far north of Argentina and we camped here last night just a couple of kilometers from this massive lagoon over that way called Laguna Pozuelas where hopefully we can see a whole lot of flamingos. Yes, today is a really exciting day because we will also cross into Bolivia! Woo! Yeah, let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and this morning we're going to be starting by riding over to Lagoa Pozuelas or Pozuelas Lagoon before returning back on the 30 mile dirt road to the Ruta 9 which will take us up to the border of Bolivia at Villazon. And if everything goes well there, we'll continue up into Bolivia to the town of Tupiza. Yes, we have a long way to go and it's already 8.30, so better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> Always a nice sound in the morning, hey? Yeah, and look, the vicunas are still hanging around next to us. Good morning, guys. <laughs> we wish you an awesome day. So we camped last night just about a kilometer away from the ranger station, which is at the entrance to this lagoon reserve, so that we could get back here nice and early to see the flamingos. Yes. Oh yeah, hold on. I remember, there was some sand when we came in. Uh oh. It's all right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Just about. Whoa, look how many there are. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Cool, what a scene. We don't really know where to go. I think we'll uh, leave Oof. them to it, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Bienvenidos, Monumento Natural Laguna de los Pozuelos. <laughs> Very good, my love. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm not sure if we have to check in or something before we go. I think we probably do. Registration. Okay. Perfecto. Dos personas. Dos personas. Luego, aquí, check out. Cruza el, pu el puente. Yep. 100 metros. Yes. Mano derecha. Okay. Ahí es la entrada. It's free. Uh, you can... Uh, Perfect, perfect. And uh, we can take a flamingo home? No. <laughs> In English. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> English information, that's awesome. If you see um, a storm, uh -huh. you must return. Come back. Okay, yes. Okay. Do you think storm today? Yes. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Okay. Hopefully we will be in uh, Bolivia by then. <laughs> Dos caminos. Uh, voy a mostrarle en el cartel. Uh -huh. We are aquí. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 50 kilómetros uh -huh. habrá pampas. Yes. Yeah. Y luego... Uh -huh. uh, route 9. Yes. Yeah. La Quiaca. Yeah. La Quiaca. Uh -huh. uh -huh. O aquí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cinco kilómetros. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cieneguillas, Ruta 40, Laquiaca. Ah, okay. Aquí, eh, Quebrada de Toquero. Oh, okay. Muy bonito. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Okay, we retorno aquí uh, después. Okay. Okay. 
So now we have a bit of a decision to make after the lagoon because we didn't even know there was a second way to get to the Bolivian border. But uh, the ranger there, she said that it's a really beautiful canyon area. The way is as well shorter, so we will end up actually next to the border. In 65 kilometers. Exactly. As opposed to 120 kilometers exactly. if we go the other way. But 70 kilometers of that are paved roads. Yes. So. Yes, always 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> And it was raining in the night so yeah but if you take this road as an example yeah I it mean, was raining and you can't really see you know there's it's no, true there's no puddles there's no mud it looks absolutely fine yeah i think our decision is made uh oh you think we're going to take the the longer dirt road yeah i think so We've got a whole herd of alpaca over there the sheep of argentina <laughs> look you got a whole bunch of sheep on this side and a whole bunch of alpaca on this side. <laughs> they look and so they're, cute! Yeah, they're all looking at us. And they've all got like red tassels on their ears. And there's some very little, little, little ones as well. Oh my god, how pretty and cute they look. They are so beautiful. So cute. Okay, so this gate, it looks like we do need to actually open. Okay. Even the sheep have red tassels on their ears. All right. Whoa, that dog was coming close to us, hey? Maybe he was just coming to say hello, but you I never know with sheep herding dogs. Yeah, you never know. How they're gonna be, so yeah. let's not go over and say hi. No. Bye bye, Bumblebee. Bye, Bumblebee. We see you on a bit. Don't talk to strangers. So that's as far as we can go with Bumblebee. So now we've got about one kilometer to head over to the lake to see the flamingos. Flamingo. Wow, there are so many flamingo here. I think we were a little bit too excited at the start and a whole load of them just flew away. Yeah, they were like, no, I'm out guys. Look at the ground, it's covered in all of this like slimy algae, which I think is what the flamingos are feeding on. Wow, this lake is just full of birds and you can hear the bird sounds everywhere. It's so incredible. I think this is probably about as far as we can go actually. After this it just gets muddier and muddier. And we forgot our swimming costumes. <laughs> incredible though, incredible. You can see the lagoon stretches like way off into the distance and there's just flamingos and other birds just absolutely everywhere here. This is like David Attenborough stuff right here. This is like pure documentary style. <laughs> so this lagoon, the Pozuela Lagoon, actually fluctuates massively between the wet and dry seasons. In the dry season, it's around 100 hectares at the least, but during the wet season, it grows to 15,000 hectares. And this place is home to 100,000 flamingos, which is absolutely crazy. I can't even imagine that many flamingos, but they're here, they're in this lagoon. So this area is known as the Puna and it's actually a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve and in 1981 it was declared a natural monument. So it's an incredibly important place for bird species. There's not just flamingos here, you've got plovers, you've got lapwings, I don't know any other species but they've got a lot of birds here. Look at all the footprints. There's just thousands and thousands and thousands of flamingo footprints everywhere in the mud. So sweet! I don't think that we are very professional bird watchers <laughs> because every time when we get too close they're just flying off and we don't have binoculars to observe them from a distance so... <laughs> hey, at least I got a really cool shot of them all flying off. That's about the best we can get. <laughs> but anyway, we don't want to disturb them too much so... We will head back to Bumblebee and see 
how she's doing. Goodbye, 100,000 flamingos. Bye bye, guys. We wish you the best life. <laughs>
a school for humans or for llamas? <laughs> a llama school! Because I can barely see any people, but I can see a whole lot of llamas. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I really wonder how many kids are at that school though. Yeah, me too. I really wonder. Yeah, it's a bit drier here. Nice. Speed is on! We said that we either wanted to find a room in Tupiza which had either a free breakfast or a pool. <laughs> yes. Because I don't think we can afford both at the same time, but we might just be able to afford one or the other. <laughs> so we'll see. We're just coming into a small town here called Sienguias. Oh, llamas! Llamas! <laughs> <laughs> or Sienguishas in Argentinian Spanish. Apparently they have free Wi-Fi here, I read on iOverlander. <laughs> That's super weird. <laughs> so we will check out uh, some spots here and see if we can uh, get some internet. Yeah, because we've got to try to look ahead and see what rooms are available in Tupiza. Yes. With a pool for breakfast. <laughs> or both. <gasps> oh, nice, look. Got some traditional mud brick buildings. Yeah, it looks like a really quaint place. Oh. Sort of barrier here. Okay. Can't okay. go here? Can't go here apparently. Okay. 